What's good with y'all, man? We finna react to do trans athletes have an unfair advantage over females. What is a woman? A woman is having a vagina. Ha oh, well, actually, no. What, whatever you want to think is a woman. There's trans men who are now capable of giving birth. Does questioning make you transphobic? I'm homophobic. I'm transphobic. Like, why are you asking these questions right now type thing? So today I asked about trans athletes. Challenge each person with questions the other side may ask. So let's see what they have to say. Should trans athletes compete against biological women? People think that they're going to beat them, then they're... The fuck is that? Probably not the best for that competition. That's like saying like there's like ten bears that are all fighting each other. Bro, my thing is when it comes to transgenders and athletes, you feel me? I don't believe you feel me. You should have a manly ass person, you feel me, in a female sport, you feel me? I feel like that's a little. No matter how much estrogen and to or testosterone blockers they put in their body, you feel me? There'll never be no woman, you feel me? Like, I feel like if they was born a man, they should do man sports, you feel me? Like, I don't believe they should, you feel me, be in female sports. It's kind of weird. It's like, wait, let's bring in this one T-Rex and then let's add that in and let's see how that kind of goes. And what happens is the T-Rex just destroys them. So trans people are T-Rexes? I mean, you can say that. <laughs> Women's sports is pretty self-descriptive. Women compete against women. No matter how many surgery, a woman's body is a woman's body. You can't really change that. You get on hormone therapy? Hey, that's crazy, bro. I, I wouldn't really expect no woman to say that, you feel me? Like, not to sound sexist, usually those are the ones who accept a man as a woman, you feel me? They, like, when if a man was to say he's a woman, it's usually other women that goes around him and, you feel me, validate his experience, I guess. Therapy, it does change the hormones within your bodies. If they're classified as females, they should be able to compete against females. What do I actually think? Yeah. I mean, women should compete against women, and transgenders should compete against transgenders. Okay. <laughs> Why do you believe that? I got my own problems. I was in the military. Was it fair <laughs> for a male to do the female PT test? The woman's PT, like, like a lower standard? Significantly lower, because a female can only do so much. Okay. I do play men's volleyball, though, collegiately. But before we continue, I know damn well I'm not the only one confused. I hope you don't mind me asking, but were you born a biological male? I'm non-binary, so I can be female as a gender, and my sex can be male. Bro, I really want to have, like, an understanding on, like, what is this non-binary, you feel me? Like, what is non-binary? Like, it's either you a man or you a woman, you feel me? Like, there's no in-between, there's no nothing. Like, even if you're non-binary, like, you're... Like, what does that mean? I, like, can somebody please tell me, like, what that mean? Whatever feels best for the day. How about between Monday and Friday? Uh, Monday and Friday, definitely she, her at my job. It just depends on the vibe. Depends, yeah, yeah, yeah. On this channel, we explore the unfamiliar because it's only through genuine conversations that we can change our perspective. But will people be too afraid to speak their truth? And with all the controversy, will I be demonetized or even worse, canceled like Chappelle? Bro, chill. Ain't no one canceling you with your no subscriber had ass. I guess we gonna see. What is a woman then? Uh, anyone who identifies as such. It's just somebody who feels comfortable within femininity. I don't even want to say femininity because it goes beyond that. I'm more of a logical person. Kind of actually take. Bro, people do not know what a woman is, bro. That's why I'm glad Matt Walsh did that documentary, bro. It shows you like how dumb my generation is, bro. That we we don't even know what a woman is, bro. Like. A woman is an adult female, bro, meaning that she can have babies. She's able to produce offspring if she wants to, you feel me? Not that she has to do it. It's just the fact that she has the ability to do it. No man has the ability to do it, you feel me? At least with them, with the real woman, they have the choice to do it or not to do it, you feel me? Like, that that's the thing, you feel me? Take that weird Jordan Peterson type stuff, just believing in yourself, and actually affect that towards like gender. Maybe let's take like a recent controversial issue like abortion. Heard women say, hey, no one should be making laws about us. In that instance, it seems like a woman is someone who is able to have a baby. Does that constitute a woman or would you still stick with your definition? A uterus wouldn't like make you a woman. I feel like there's so many other parts that are so much more important than just that. Vagina considers a woman, but if you have like the long hair, if you have the nails. So I think those are pretty big differences, right? Because I could put on nails and hair, but if I identified as a woman, would that make me a woman? Yeah. Is there any yeah. scientific definitions or is it just the words become true? No one decides to become a woman. So no one just wakes up and is like, oh, I feel like being a woman. There are tons of thoughts, decisions, and even social repercussions like this entire line of questioning that come with coming out as a woman.
Bro, I want to know, like, how can somebody know that they feel like a woman? Like, you've never been a woman, so how do you know that's how you feel, you feel me? Like, I don't, I don't get that, bro. Like, that's like me saying I feel like a millionaire. I've never had a million dollars, bro. Like, I could dream and have, you feel me, an idea of what it feels and that lifestyle that comes with that, but I, I will never be a woman. I've never been a woman, will never experience that. So, like, how, how could people say, you feel me, that they always felt like this when they've never been that, you feel me, like? I don't know, bro. I, I really feel like that's a mental disorder, bro. But wouldn't that be kind of ignoring some sort of biological, uh, I don't know, realities? I think that everybody has their own biological reality, and that's how the world has always worked. But this world is changing every fucking day, and you just got to keep up with the new time. Are you straight by chance? I am, yeah. You identify as straight, and you identify as a male? Yeah. So not everybody's going to follow what your path is, and some people have their own path. And sometimes we just... Is this... <laughs> what the fuck is that? Weren't born with that knowledge because we didn't got taught that as children. Why has it changed over the last few years? There's trans men who are. Hey man, when I I don't know, bro. That, I feel like we going to hell, man. Like I really I don't know, bro. It's like the things we social, the things we try to normalize in society today. It, it's kind of sick, bro. Cause like I don't know what that thing was that they just showed on here, bro. But. That wasn't no woman, bro. Like I'm be real, bro. That wasn't no woman. Like that was that was a little too masculine to be a woman, bro. I don't know, bro. Like I don't know. Are now capable of giving birth, whatever makes someone feel better at night and doesn't hurt somebody else. I don't think should matter to anybody. Okay. So then, what would the other side say? Okay. In your mind, do you think there are more than two genders? Yes. I couldn't identify them all for you. But I'm an I'm old school, so if I'm growing up, I just know my man, know man. Again, I think I decided that I'm an alien. Do you believe me? And if you don't accept that I'm an alien, then you're wrong. And that just doesn't make logical sense. So you can have your own opinion, your own thoughts, but I think there's one or the other. Outside of sport, I don't really think it matters. So obviously both sides have opinions, but do both sides have solutions? What do you think is a solution? Do you think trans athletes should have their own league? Do you think that sports should be gender neutral? Because I've seen some females out there that can kick any guy's ass. I mean, look at fucking Ronda Rousey. She could probably take all her asses up at once. I don't Bro, I'm be real, bro. Not to sound sexist again, bro. You can get the best, you feel me, MMA fighter out there that's a female, bro, and put that against a mid-level to low-level person with basic training in MMA, bro. I'm pretty sure, bro. Now, I know for a fact they did a video on it, bro. That dude will fuck her up, bro. Like, Ronda Rousey, the best person in MMA right now, bro. She would get fucked up by anybody in the MMA right now, bro. Like, it's like... Why do people try, like, don't get me wrong, bro. I believe in empowering women, bro, and all of that, bro. But that don't mean you got to be ignorant to facts, you feel me, bro. Like, there, there's obviously, you feel me, differences, you, you physical differences, you feel me, between a woman and a man, you feel me. Like, yeah, there's outliers. You might see a 6'3 female out there, bro. You might see a 5'1 male out there. But that, you feel me, that ain't normal. That ain't everyday things, you feel me. Like, you usually see a tiny woman. And a tall man, you feel me? That that's usually the norm, bro. Like I don't know, bro. Like it's getting a little weird, bro. No, that's not at all. But do you think she'll be able to? And this fucking creature that's trying to normalize shit, bro. Like I don't know, bro. Dude needs to be quiet, bro. I don't, I don't know what this Take is. Take a professional male UFC fighter. I mean, look at her. That bitch is vicious. You know what I mean? <laughs> honestly, I feel like you could beat my ass with those. Honestly, baby, I'll give somebody a black guy with these. <laughs> Some women probably think that they're like faster than men and some men probably think that they do like way better in like a female or I'm trying to think of one that typically females are in. Ooh, cheerleading. Yeah, I think that's the only way you could do it without pissing people off. Should our priority be to not piss people off? Um, yeah, that it, there's... I guess you have to choose who you want to piss off. <laughs> Cause yeah, I agree with that. You feel me? Like cheerleading. I mean, I don't feel like that's a. I feel like that's a neutral sport right there. You feel me? Like you can do cheerleading, I guess. You feel me? But anything other than that, I mean, that's just kind of cheating. Then you create more division, right? And you say, oh, well, we're going to make this only. But then it does make it inclusive for them if that's what they want to do. So. Will there even be enough to form a league? Not necessarily, but I think if we're going to talk about integration, people of color being integrated into our schools, parks, society, wasn't normalized until we talked about it. So trans is one of those topics right now that we just have to normalize. Not going to work. 
two or three times as hard to try to compete against someone naturally born as a male. Which does bring up something that no one wants to talk about. Are trans women taking away women's rights? Because it wasn't until 50 years ago yes. when Title IX granted more equal access to women in sports. But today when... I do believe, you feel me, trans women are taking away women's rights when it comes to sports. You feel me? Because they, you feel me, they can't express and really do the things they want to do in, in the, at their full capacity. You feel me? Like, it's like, what, what was the uh, swimmer name? Uh, fuck. Leon Thomas. What, what was his name? Leona Thomas? Or I forgot the dude's name was, bro. But first, I think he was like 100th in swimming. You feel me? In the males. And then he became first in the uh, females or something like that, bro. Like, that's cheating, bro. Like, that, that's not right, bro. Like, they, they're not, you feel me? I, to me, bro, if y'all want to talk about oppression, bro, I feel like that that's oppression right there, bro. Like, that's very appropriating right there. When a trans there. woman receives a roster spot, is it denying biological women's opportunities? And if there are biological advantages, more times than not, is it denying opportunities to win? I think you have to ask that population. If only I knew someone who was trans and also an athlete. I think someone who is prepubescent and is on hormones before developing natural testosterone, they're not as strong as me. So should there be an age cutoff then? Yes. Their estrogen and testosterone levels have to be tested before competing. If I'm going to be real, I didn't expect that answer. And that even with hormone therapy, when you transition matters. So let's explore further on these advantages. Do you think that trans women have any sort of advantage against biological women when it comes to sports? No. People can train and become professionals in whatever sport that they want to do, and you have the same ability to do that. Bruh, people like her, bruh, she the type of dude to pick a fight with a dude, you feel me, at the club, bro, and get her ass beat, bro. Like, that that was a dumbass answer, bro. Like, if you really feel like a female can fight a grown-ass man, bro, you're crazy, bro. Like, that, that's not happening, bro. Like, she, I don't know, bro. I, I didn't like that answer, bro. That's a little, you feel me? That's a dangerous answer, too, bro. Because like I said, bro, people, a lot of women with that type of mindset feel like they can genuinely fight a man. You feel me? They end up swinging on the woman or swinging on the man. You feel me? And they head get knocked off. You feel me? And then now they trying to, you feel me, put him in jail. But you feel me? They started it. A lot of the times they will start it. And then claim victim when they get hit back, bro. I don't, I don't like that, bro. Y'all claim equal rights, then cry when you get hit. You feel me? Some people like, grow I don't like faster that. than others, and that has nothing to do with your genitals. In general, do you think men and women have physical differences? I think there are physical differences across the plane. We have differences. We're both women. We have differences. We're both women. Yeah. There could be biological advantages to it, but at what point is like that measure quantifiable? A basketball player is scoring 500 points a game. I would say that would go into more of the skill than rather than just like hormonal like influence. As long as they're on like the proper treatment with like HRT, and I actually think at that point it becomes a disadvantage. I am also on estrogen. Like I lost a lot of that muscle, gained a lot of fatigue. When I used to play soccer and I felt like it was like better. I felt like I could challenge myself more. It said that it made you better. Are you saying that men have an advantage over women when it comes to sports? Uh, no, I don't think so. There's like ways in which that men and women can learn from each other in sports. I guess, but yeah. could that be considered uh, a bit unfair for biological women? I don't think so. Do you know who LeBron James is? Yeah. So he's 6'8", 280 pounds. What if he became a trans woman and competed against WNBA players? Would that be something <laughs> that the WNBA players should just get over? Like she would have an advantage. At the same time, I don't know, I feel like they could figure it out. He probably would be in a league with similarly stacked women. There are six foot plus women who weigh a lot, who have a lot of musculature. Um, and probably they'd be playing in the same league. I think it would just depend on the sport. I guess. Bro, they are retarded, bro. If LeBron James is dominating grown men, you feel me? Seven foot men, bro. 300 pound men, bro. What do you think LeBron would do in female sports, bro? Like, bro, come on now, bro. Like, bro, he would kill them, bro. Literally, bro. Like, he would be in prison, bro. Like, come on now, bro. Y'all got to use your head, bro. Like, it's weight classes for, a, for a, a reason, you feel me? It's weight classes amongst men, bro. So imagine putting this man in a woman's sports, bro. Like, y'all yeah, yeah. gonna die, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Like, y'all trying to legalize, you feel me, murder. Equal playing field. I haven't really thought too much about it. I think in swimming it's possible because they are likely to be more muscular. And it's something that's actually happened. Leah Thomas was a swimmer at UPenn who started her collegiate Yeah, that's what I was talking about, Leah Thomas. Swimming. But during Leah's junior year, she started hormone therapy transitioned to be happy previously leah was ranked 65th in the men's 500 yard freestyle but as a oh damn it was 65th what i say 100 
My fault, bro. I knew I knew it was fucked up. I knew it was like some bad. You feel me? I know I know he was like low. You feel me? I, I knew that, bro. I ain't I ain't know it was sixty five. I thought it was man, my Woman. fault. Leah Thomas pulling away over the final one hundred fifty meters wins the NCAA championship. She ranked first after winning the national championship. It's controversial to even question this, but sports is competition. So to avoid falling behind, will more programs start exclusively recruiting trans athletes? You know, complete what I signed up for. It's something the World Swimming Organization has noticed. New rules will now only allow athletes who have transitioned before the age of 12 to compete in women's events. So the more controversial topic, the more discussions we need. It's like, like I'm a big soccer fan. Same. Like, women's soccer and men's soccer becoming competitive to the point where like some of them are like passing the same like records at the same time. I, I had to disagree. I, I well because I have personal experiences with this. When I was like on a U16 soccer team, we played the Portland Thorns. So they were like the women Women's champions of that oh, yeah. specific year so they have like uh, Alex Morgan like yeah. a bunch of like these Olympic high-level athletes we killed them 6-1 and we were 15 a personal experience like that only goes so far you can have outliers because we're seeing individual women break like certain records and all that against other women exactly yeah, that's what I was just gonna say he said it for me exactly women are breaking records against other women you feel me like come on it now, is against bro. other women but we are also seeing those numbers match very closely to male numbers because you feel me like that that has nothing to do because they're not competing against males you, bro that, that 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 doesn't mean anything you feel me like that means they're just an elite amongst women you feel me that doesn't mean they but don't you think numbers are always relative right like let's say if i joined a eight-year-old league i'm gonna score exactly. a thousand goals no, right no but numbers as far as like stuff like goals or like yeah i, I guess like what i'm arguing that it is relative though right because you're comparing a woman who is playing against other women's that record against a man playing against other men right yeah, exactly. With those numbers becoming closer, that is also a good sign that you're gonna move that like the bell curve closer and closer together. And requires much right. physical rigor. Do you think then trans women should be able to compete against biological women? But people wonder why WNBA and NBA get paid differently. It's because clearly NBA guys are dunking like crazy. But hey, if a girl is at that level, then sure, like go do it. How about like maybe like something even more Sick. consequential like UFC or MMA? Do you think men and women should be fighting against each other? So I would think the weight classes could account for that. What if the biological women think it's unfair, but they still have to compete? What about those instances? I know I would never be trying to fist fight a man. Why is that? My opinion doesn't really matter because I'll never be like involved in that stuff. Sorry. No, you don't have to apologize. If I'm a female and I'm training my ass off every fucking day, there's a guy who doesn't have to train as hard as me. He comes in and he, and he beats me. I don't feel like shit. No. And if anyone's allowed to voice an opinion, exactly. shouldn't it be those in competition? But instead, what we're seeing is severe consequences for speaking out. Because at a certain point, I felt like I had to do something. Taylor Silverman is a Jewish skater who placed second in two different contests to trans women. So fed up, she posted a screenshot of her email to Red Bull who hosted the contest. And I knew that people would come after me. I knew that people would come after me for being Jewish. And what followed was a Bro, my thing, I don't even think that's a, you feel me, a controversial topic. I feel like that's a normal thing. You feel me? I feel like that's a normal reaction. You feel me? I feel like it's normal to be upset. You feel me? Like, post with tons of comments calling. Same thing with dudes. You feel me? That's like, a person on steroids, you feel me? Like, that's why John Jones keep getting disqualified, you feel me? Because he keep doing steroids. He keep cheating and getting an unfair advantage, you feel me? Like, bro, come on now, bro. Like, that's why this stuff happens, bro. Like, bro, people get mad, you feel me, when you cheat, bro. That's cheating, bro. Calling her a transphobe and even some anti-Semitic hate. The people who I don't are feel like she transphobic. Are the contest organizers who allow it to happen because the reality is all the athletes competing are just going by the rules. Obviously, emailing Red Bull wasn't a way to start a conversation about it. They did not want to have that conversation at all. And it's exactly this censorship of discussion that's completely hypocritical to the toted message of tolerance and acceptance. And so it's time to explore further because we've heard of trans women competing, but why not the reverse? Why do we never hear instances of trans men competing against biological men, but we've heard a lot of instances of trans women competing against biological women? I am aware of trans professional male athletes who are successful. But I haven't heard any in the NBA oh, or soccer. I tend to focus on things that are mainstream. We just don't necessarily get that in the news as often. But, but we've been hearing news about trans women competing against 
Yeah, because biological that's how the news is like, and that's how like this is. It operates on quakes. Do you think there are instances? Like, why are you asking these questions right now? Type thing. Oh, I'm trying to get closer to what the answer might be. That's why I'm going this approach, uh, asking questions yeah. what the other side may ask no, it's you. It's a slightly different approach, and it's like nice. But, uh, and it's because of misogyny. This is an instance of a biological woman turning into a man competing against men. Why would there be misogyny involved then? Because misogyny, because they don't see, like most, okay. like they're not seeing them as men. Basically, they're not taking them serious. So then why do we not see the reverse? Do you think it's just one-sided misogyny or? I, I think it's, I literally think it's that. It's... If there's no physiological differences between men and women when it comes to sports, <laughs> why haven't we heard any instances of that? Society seems to deem women's sports as needing some sort of assistance. So when they see a trans person competing, they feel as though there's something encroaching on a sport that's already not competing on the same level as men's sports, which is inaccurate. Women's sports are highly competitive, often can compete with men at the same level. Bro, they would not be able to compete with no man at the same level, bro. Like, you feel me? NBA players are very, you feel me, what's a, must, what's a Macaulay, you feel me, competitive, you feel me, but have a dude, have LeBron James take steroids, bro. It's not going to be as competitive. It's not going to be fun to watch, bro. You're just going to see this one dude dominating everybody, bro. Like, it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be cool, you feel me? Because it's cheating, bro. Like, it, it, it's only cool to the person that's cheating. You feel me? That's winning, bro. But everybody else, bro, nobody's having fun. Like, come on now, bro. Like, and win. What, what sports? like a woman playing against a man tennis player, you can see it being fairly competitive. And in 1998, Serena and Venus Williams did exactly that, or tried to. They challenged any professional male player to a match as long as they were outside of the top 200. The challenge was accepted by Karsten Brosh, who was ranked 203rd in the world. And the match was a close one. He beat Serena 6-1 and Venus 6-2. It's a completely different sport. The men are a lot faster. I love to play women's tennis and I, I only want to play girls because I don't want to be embarrassed. And so now it's time to ask the most important question. There's a question that I kept asking myself throughout this video. Does questioning make you transphobic? No, I'm talk, just talking my honest truth. I, I would be lying to myself if I say anything else. I think questioning is fine because it allows to explore the curiosity and become much more understanding. I think once you make a judgment towards it, that's when like the phobia comes in. Well, I, I know I'm phobic. Well, I'm homophobic, I'm transphobic. Uh, if it ain't female, I'm, yeah, don't come at me with that crazy shit. When it comes to sports, gotta be black <laughs> and white and universal. I'm sure a lot of people won't agree with that. Do you think we're prioritizing too much of not pissing people off? That has changed a lot of the ways that people Fence. are accepted or, or desire to be accepted. My whole life, when I see something, this is what my brain tells me. For me to just say, oh, that's this, and not understand it, that is me disagreeing with myself. And that causes more conflict within. That's also another line that we have to like really be wary of. Things have changed considerably. Women didn't look like that when I was... <laughs> <laughs> now more than ever, we need to learn to disagree. But when questioning the current thing means you're whatever phobic, how can we even have these types of conversations? Where are you from, by the way? Well, there's a lot of controversies around it in Jamaica, you know, but you know, the world is evolving. Probably my opinion might be not someone's opinion. And even though I was afraid to make this, what I realized is that if you approach with curiosity, people will speak their truth. And just how people should have the right to do whatever they want with their body. Have you always felt this way? Is this always something that you wanted to do? Since like childhood and I wanted to be viewed for myself versus like a gender. People should also have the right to speak out for their beliefs because if there's one guarantee in the world it's change. Like the stuff we viewed 200 years ago isn't viewed the same way now. Maintaining a focus of this gradual progression is a good thing. Navigating change means dealing with the controversy and it all starts by exploring the unfamiliar. Is this gonna be broadcasted? Yes, yeah, so it'll be on youtube.com. You know you is that okay? Oh well, yeah, it's gotta be. Well, that's the end of this video, man.